Well, here we are at the corner of Independence and Pearl Street in uh, Sharon, Pennsylvania. As you can see, we're standing here on a very nice summer day in July. And I'm panning around slowly so you can get a good look at the neighborhood. This is the property which we're going to show you today. It's 804 Pearl Street, Sharon, Pennsylvania. And uh, you can see there's a lot of two-story colonial properties around here. Many of them, most of them modernized and sided and loads of updates. There are all public utilities here on this street. Hope you'll forgive the camera shake because uh, obviously this is a handheld showing. So, And you can see our sidewalk coming down here. There's a fenced rear yard which which is awesome if you have a pet or small children or you just want you know privacy in your rear yard some new landscaping or newer landscaping here these very nice landscape stones that interlock which act as a retaining wall you know to keep the um, keep the uh, dirt from coming out on your sidewalk as well as some very nice landscaping here too okay the railing coming up the stairs and here's the number on the house as you can see we can see we have a vinyl this is aluminum or vinyl it's vinyl. vinyl siding with aluminum soffit and fascia and uh, aluminum gutters and downspouts since I'm here I might as well walk you around the outside Here's your electric service and the gas meter. Looks relatively brand new there. And your cable and phone coming into the property. Here's a real nice feature. These are security glass block windows. And uh, once again, this is that. Um, see, there's a lot of space here between these two homes. I mean, ample room for a driveway if you'd like to put a driveway from this road. As of right now, the driveway is off the alley to the garage. And see how the, you can see how the gate, you could lock that up with a padlock if you'd like. Just a really nice rear yard. There's a beautiful shade tree. There's a wooden swing set back here. Terrific for the for the kids. Matter of fact, I, I enjoy swinging once in a while too. <laughs> not the not the kind of that you're thinking. Just swinging on the swing set. So, and you can see the I can say neighbors also have a fenced in yard there. There was a pool here at one time, which you could obviously put one back in very easily. And you even have the power already out here so that you can hook up your um, pump and uh, here's the back of the house you can see we have new storm door on there it's all glass and a insulated rear security door there is a dust to dawn light up here which lights up the backyard so you can party in the evenings back here and uh, outside you also have outside uh, electric you know this actually, the carport here, is a covered patio. It's on this property. So this, even though it's connected to the neighboring property here, it does go with this, with this property. So, uh, as a matter of fact, um, I have to check on that, but it is a real nice concrete covered patio. Now. Another nice big shade tree back here, and this is that rear alley I told you about. Here's the you know, two-car garage, you can see. I'm going to take you in there, because that actually has electric, and it's heated, and there's even a satellite dish on the garage. If you want to work out in your garage, you can have satellite TV out there. Here is the alley, which comes right in off of Pearl. That alley connects down there and comes right on in here and you can pull right on into this two-car 
nice size two car garage again it's sided it also has aluminum softened fascia shingle roof and uh, so I made a little mistake here this um, this is actually on this property I thought this was on the neighboring part this all belongs to right here so there's the property line there and, uh, very unique okay let's take you inside the property we'll make this one continuous showing so we don't have to keep cutting it we'll lock this back gate here There's a little fruit tree here a very nice little fruit tree I don't know if it's a peach tree or I'm not sure what it is but probably get some some comment someone will tell me what it is <laughs> you can see here's a vent a dryer vent here in the glass block so that you can vent your dryer there and another little patio out here okay we'll finish walking around the other side of the home just so you've seen all four sides all four sides of the house are just like you were here okay if you don't know our information there it is there's an open house Sunday 2 to 4 that would be I think the 22nd I believe I think it's Sunday 20 something <laughs> well, you'll you'll see it there on the web real nice front porch open covered front porch Again, aluminum soffit. There's little hooks up here if you wanted to put little bamboo, you know, uh, like the neighbors have one over there. You know, a little awning or a curtain blind. We have electric out here. So if you want to hook up your, you know, decorations there, seasonal decorations, of course you could do that. And here we come into the home. First thing I notice is the nice, beautiful smell of new carpet boy do I love that smell it's got that new car smell huh I'll flip some lights on for you look at this um, ornate trim on this on the poster here this um, you know the handrail this is all carved in there isn't that beautiful and that open stairway goes right up there see all the spindles have been beautifully painted we have thermal pane tilt in windows here I always like to show you these because they're really convenient, especially if you want to clean. Here's the safety stop so that you can, you know, a child couldn't get out there or a burglar couldn't get in. And you can open those up and see how they won't go any further than that right there. But but they do tilt in. I'll tilt, tilt that in and show you how nice and easy that works. So you can clean that and do the same thing with the upper one. And then close them and boom, there you go. You're all set to go okay and let's start you out down here this, this is the, this is the foyer and the ceiling height here's my reach is eight foot at least nine foot so you have this feeling of space as soon as you come in it just feels large and really really open even though there's partitions I'm walking on the plastic so I don't get any marks on your new carpet if you buy this home so you can see the textured ceiling just looks very nice with the um, these neutral colored walls I don't know if you can see it as well on the camera but the walls are perfect I mean uh, guess I better watch what I say because there's no such thing as perfect but I mean I'm having a really hard time finding any ripples or marks of any kind I mean it's all been redone so I don't see why you wouldn't you can see how nice that ceiling has been swirled as well and you can see there's all outlets in here even though the house is older there's outlets on all the walls brand new thermostat things you don't think of a lot of times when you buy a house you know you buy an old house and you move in and right away you got to start changing stuff. I mean, it uh, has an old thermostat, and of course the lights are all old and the fans don't work. Well, here's a brand new, you know, uh, 
fixtures and just so many things that have been redone these are pocket doors and they do slide out uh, I'm not sure if they do right now but they they will obviously you can see they're in the doors they're in the walls there so you could annex this room off if you wanted to you could use it as a first floor bedroom I mean it does have a big eating kitchen or an office or anything here's the kitchen again those high ceilings new ceiling fans very bright real nice uh, vinyl floor new double bowl stainless steel sink with the little sprayer of course um, plenty of room here see the wainscoting that goes around the kitchen gives you that feeling that you know you're, you're in an older home from the turn of the century yet you know it's new brand new appliances look at these beautiful appliances wow I'm jealous <laughs> Yeah, those are brand spanking new. You can even see the stickers are still on them there. This is a Frigidaire. I don't even know how to use it. They have all these computers here. Here's the fan and the light up here. So you can cook. And here's a brand new refrigerator. As you can see how nice that is. Boy, you got all kind of space on the doors. It's also a Frigidaire. There it is. And I'll shut that where your phone would go on the wall there we're going into detail here because you might not you know see the GFCI on the wall there you can push that and that automatically tells you the light coming on that it's good so if you dropped your beater in a bowl of water you won't get shocked this is really unique here's a here's a brand new laundry room down here this was originally the kitchen see how they use the original sink here which is really really cool just uh you know that's that porcelain uh sink then and then of course here's your recessed hookups for your laundry check out these these are the original cabinets but aren't they aren't they cool they go all the way all the way up tons of storage just ample storage all through here you know look even in here there's a pegboard you can hang up your you know, tools and whatnot. So just a really, really unique. So and there is a commode down here because you know that's how convenient is that right off of the kitchen. You don't have to run upstairs to do laundry. You can use the lavatory down here. Just uh this is what is a big word lavatory. Okay. There's even you know storage space underneath there. So super usable laundry and here is um, what we call a mudroom, or you know, you could convert this. You could use this for an eating area. Put up a little kitchen table in here or something. You could do that, obviously. Or you could simply, you know, use this for a place for the kids to, you know, do hobbies. Or you could put a chair in here and hang up all your winter coats and mittens and gloves and all that stuff. There's your door again here with all new locks. One of the nice things about these houses is you have the only key and they're all new and uh, here's a, um, I digress there, here's another pocket door, look it's inside there, see the original wood there on there, isn't that beautiful, wow, I'm going to open that all the way, isn't that really cool, now we just sectioned off that room so you can see, if you wanted to use this room in here for anything, you could actually close it off and you know, have all kind of privacy in there so I'm gonna go up before I go down because uh, if I have to cut the video apart into pieces you'll at least see the whole home you can see those new windows extend throughout the property bedroom one ceiling fan access to the attic we call that a scuttle and this Berber carpet which is new runs through the whole home there's another room in here now why these lights aren't uh, there we go they're on switches but somebody had pulled the chains on them this is a large bedroom it's at least 12 foot here let's see three six nine twelve 15 feet I mean 
That's a huge bedroom. Three, six, nine, twelve, like fifteen by twelve and a half. That's a big bedroom. And bedroom number three. Now this would have to be the master. It's huge too. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen feet on this one by about fifteen. So just really, really nice blinds here. And you have those tilt-in thermal pane windows so you don't get any cold breeze blowing in here in the wintertime. And the clothes press over there. And you can see the doors have been all painted. Look at the new hardware on the doors. Still has that, you know, so you have that um, skeleton key. Makes it feel like it's from a time gone past and yet you have all these modern conveniences. Look in here. You have your hood fan and beautiful lighted makeup mirror. And you have a medicine cabinet. One, two, all three of these open. And of course you have a little heater in here to, in case you, you want to make it a little extra toasty on those winter mornings. Certainly not today because it's hot. <laughs> and here's your tub surround. You can see that's all modern and a brand new come out over there and then here is the attic believe it or not there is an actual third floor walk-up attic in here and of course if you wanted to I mean you could turn this into you know almost anything up here you can see there's plenty of space it's got a floor and you know you'd make it a really cool cool thing up here I'll turn a light on so you can see a little bit anyway I don't know how much you can see but did that work? Yeah, there's a light on there now. See, it goes way back over in there. We put new, you know, put new um, wiring up here so you'd have lights. There's a whole other room over here. See that? And there's vents to keep it cool so that the roof doesn't sweat on you. And uh, it's hot up here. I won't lie to you. So I'm getting out of here before I sweat to death but hey nice to have a walk-up attic tons of storage anything once again the GFCI's in all the rooms here okay and there's the second floor we're heading back down the three bedrooms and the full bath plus the walk-up attic notice the smoke detectors as you come down here for your safety so those are already in there because we don't want you to be unsafe a lot of these little things we think of if you had to go buy them hey 20 bucks here 30 bucks there it all adds up believe me I've done it both ways here is the stairs to the basement and down here look, it's all painted up real nice you can see those glass block windows and there's shelves, storage, gas forced warm air furnace. Another room in here. This would make a really great playroom for the kids if you wanted to, you know, do a little more, you know, finish work. Hey, throw a couple bean bag chairs down here and you got a great place for the kids to play. Remember, you don't have to come down here because your laundry room's upstairs. So this is just here if you want to use it maybe you want to can you know can some vegetables here's a great place to store them you know gas hot water tank and even have a concrete tray here if you wanted to put uh, if you want to do your laundry down here I mean of course here's where you'd put it there's the drain and whatnot so let's see get that other light over here and there's that big 200 amp electric service over there on the wall. The meat, the, the cover's off it right now, but we'll be putting that back on shortly. So, well, there you have it, folks. 804 Pearl Street in Sharon, PA. Turn my light off. I hope you enjoyed the um, tour. I know I enjoyed taking you through because I love it when houses are all redone and uh, 
One more quick little breeze back through. Here's the um, owner and the listing agent, Jesse Horton Sr., my father. He does a nice job on these these remodels and he's very proud of them. So We have a few little extra items that we have to finish up, but they will be done. Central air, I think we we're going to put it. Central air, a couple little switch plates to put on. That's all. So. Yeah. A few little cosmetics, but we both appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Stop back to J.C. Horton Realty as often as you like, because we're here 24 hours. We're sleeping, but the website's there. <laughs> and you have yourself a wonderful day, and God bless you.